What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. And we have been blessed by great news this Tuesday morning. Uh, this came across my timeline and I was so happy and elated. Media Molecule is finally, finally announced that they are stopping support, ongoing support for Dreams. The game that nobody cared about, nobody wanted, and it completely flopped, failed. It was a failure. And I know the Media Molecule apologists or the Dream lovers who, you know, the, the, you know, the few hundred people who, who swear, oh, no, we, we care about the game. We love the game. I'm not denying that there is a few hundred, a few thousand, a few thousand people who actually pl play and use dreams actually care about it. But you're insignificant. You're nobody. You're ants. You're peons. Nobody cares about the few thousands of you. This game, this, this, get, calling this experience a game, this, this glorified creator engine a game is giving it way too much credit. It's, and, and, and the apologists, like I said, get mad at me. The game sucks. It's dog shit. No, no, but this game, and, and it's mind boggling, completely confusing, flabbergasting that this game has still not being, has still not been put on PC. It would have been a, not a necessarily a commercial success on PC, but it would have done better on PC than it did on PlayStation because PlayStation is not the audience that wants a game where you essentially become a game developer. Those type of games succeed on PC. Look at those, look at the type of games that are similar to Dream. You know where they're all at? PC. Because you know what type of audience likes to play, those, play these experience? PC gamers. Even, this game would have even been more successful on the Switch. PlayStation gamers did not want this thing. It, it, it's, it's been dead. It's dog shit. Nobody cares. Nobody, most people on consoles do not want to make levels and design games. That's your job. Why did you, why did you, and people are like, oh no, it, it's so creative and it's so artistic. Shut up. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody wants that. It's so creative. Okay. If, if it's, it could be the most creative thing on earth. If five people are playing it, who cares? Who cares? Media Molecule has literally wasted their potential and our time for like the, for damn near a decade. We give the same smoke to like 343 and um, a whole bunch of uh, other developers, like, like even Rocksteady, because it's, it's, if it's like eight years, close to a decade since they've released something of consequence or, or, or significance. And, and we give them all the smoke. Media Molecule hasn't really done anything that really matters for damn near a decade. And people are quiet about it. Maybe because they're like, maybe because people don't look at them as a, as one of the important PlayStation studios. That could possibly be it. But that's a damn shame. What are you there for? You're just existing? I've been saying, listen, if, if, they, if the next thing they make isn't a, great game that at least people want to play shut them down get them out of here i don't care what are they what are they they ain't doing nothing if you shut media molecule down right now it'll it'll make no difference because they they really ain't been here the last 10 years anyway they ain't been present okay they put that they put that uh game i think it was a a vita game out like 2000 and uh one one i was like 14 15 16 maybe Probably earlier than that, probably around 14, 15. I don't, I don't even remember what it's called. But it was some handheld game. Once again, nothing of major significance. Every other PlayStation Studio, damn near, is working on, was working on like their magnum opus. They're, you know, putting their best foot forward, making a, a game that amazed, any, amazed everybody and really caught the attention of gamers and the industry. And then Media Molecule. The runt, because it's funny, a lot of people were looking at Sony Bend as the runt, and I don't like Days Gone, but I'll play Days Gone 
a million times before I even think of downloading Dreams, of buying Dreams. You could literally put a copy of Dreams in front of me right now. I'm not touching it. I will put gloves on just to remove it from out of my place. I'm not touching that thing with my bare hands. Nobody cares about this game. Like it's it's a it's a commercial. It's an absolute commercial flop. I don't know what it came out to meta to Metacritic, but it doesn't matter because nobody cares about it. And even though PlayStation is one of those studios is is, is a publisher that gives their uh, studios free reign, complete creative freedom. Do what you want. I'm pretty sure at this point. They're like Media Molecule. Listen, be the creative studio. You could be, you know, artistic and creative, but we need something that gamers care about. Don't come back to us with nothing similar to Dreams. That's done. That's over. Pack that up. Make a game that gamers want to play. Pixel Opus is another creative studio that Sony has. You know, they make like what the... I guess you can consider that double A games. I forget, what was, what's that game they made? Concrete Genie. Very artistic game. But you know what it was, at least at the bare minimum? It didn't like knock the industry out or like really even get that much attention. But you know what? It was a game. It was something you played. It wasn't like this ex possible experiment to put developer tools in, in gamers' hands and to what? Recruit them to PlayStation in the long run? What is, what is that, the master plan? Man, get this crap out of here. Get this nonsense out of here. Make a, make a real game. Every time they tweet, that's literally what I quote tweet them. Make a real game. And hopefully, that's what they are doing now. Um, as they announced on their blog, an update to server changes, live service support for Dreams. Uh, they said Dreams is unlike any other game we've worked on in Media Molecule. Yeah, I bet. Um, it has been exciting, uh, challenging, and most importantly, an unforgettable collaborative journey with you over the years, blah, blah, blah. Two important updates. As we continue to evaluate and evolve our priorities uh, for the studios and Dreams, we made the difficult decision to discontinue live support for Dreams after September 1st, 2023, to shift our focus to a exciting, new project you'll still be able to play create and share dreams and all that stuff yada 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 um but they won't be releasing any more updates or content to the game great news love to hear it <sighs> finally finally because it's been just it's been completely quiet for, like from dreams and media molecule in general like even though i even though i think the game is absolute worthless garbage i really want to start st stop calling it a game you don't even hear nothing about the game if this was you don't even hear nothing about it ever like you don't even hear about any updates when did this thing come out let me look when this thing came out let me see dreams release date when when did when was this 2020 it's been it, it the game it feels so long in the tooth, though. It feels like it came out like 2017. That's because it's just been an dr absolute drag. Like, man, it's, it's, I'm just happy it's over. I'm happy it's over and they're moving on to something, to something new. And uh, hopefully we get a game that we actually care about. And uh, for all you people who are going to get mad at me, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the five, like I said, the, the, the five people who actually care about this game, the ants, the peons that I step on, the game is dog shit. Let me double down on that. Dreams is dog shit. Like, and I don't even like Little Big Planet. I thought Little Big Planet was, was honestly garbage too, but I would play Little Big Planet before I turn on Dreams. I would play Tearaway before I, I oh, and, oh my God, Tearaway was 2013. 2000, I thought, I was, I was being way too generous. I thought like that game maybe came up. So before Dreams, so seven years before Dreams, they made Tearaway. And then, 2020, they released a game. Like, what? Man, it, listen. 
I would be I would be at Media Molecule cracking the whip if I was PlayStation. That's just me. I would be cracking the fucking whip. Y'all gonna get to work on something good. Because y'all, y'all wasting money, y'all wasting time, y'all wasting opportunity, potential. Y'all, I know y'all got something in y'all. I don't want to hear from Media Molecule until y'all have, have an actual playable game that you are ready to present to us. That's the next time I want to hear from you. Till then, you go radio silent. You shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing ever about dreams again. When that new title ready, hit me up. All right? That's all I got to say. Hit the like button. Besides all you dream, you dream apologists and you, and you dream dick suckers like the five of y'all. Y'all could cry if y'all want. Hit the dislike button, whatever. Um, but I just, listen, I'm sorry. I think about in these like, in those seven to ten years, I just think about what they could have made. That we could have actually played. Most of us. Because none of us played this, this, this shit. This trash. None of us. So yeah. Uh, hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. All that good shit. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.